And investigator Matt Grant joins us now with new details about where this accident happened and the concerns about that stretch of road that go back many years. You know, we're all still trying to digest this terrible news tonight. All those poor families now having to deal with this. But we know, Matt, that there is a bad history with accidents there on Highway 21. That's right. A heartbreaking story and unfortunately prior safety concerns with this road. We've reported on safety concerns with State Highway 21 uh, for more than five years involving hundreds of crashes just a a few miles west of where today's bus accident occurred uh, at the time back in 2017 TxDOT officials said that they would widen the road lower the speed limit and add stoplights but many of you on Facebook are commenting about ongoing concerns with speed and what you describe as reckless driving so we looked at TxDOT data and found since January 2022 there have been at least 128 crashes on the seven mile stretch of road around where the school bus crashed today. In four of the accidents, someone was killed and five of them involved buses. Three of them that we know were yellow school buses. A TxDOT document indicated that between 2017 and 2037, in that two decade period, traffic on Highway 21 from San Marcos to Bastrop was set to increase by nearly 40%. We're still looking into details as well as any potential solutions. Five other school buses. All right, thank you, Matt. We appreciate that information.